Hello again and welcome to another one of my labs. Um, this one's going to be on VR to remote access VPN, but we're also going to be doing, um, I've done one of these before, but this one's going to be more focusing on kind of compatibility and trying to get uh, all the various devices that we have now, so iPhones, iPads, XP machines, Mac machines, um, and trying to get it um, all in one centralized location so that we're managing all of our VPN access from one place um, and nowhere else. Um, here is what the lab is going to look like. So we obviously have our VPN uh, terminating there. We uh, have a kind of our remote user is out here. So he could either be on this machine or he could be on an iPad or an iPhone. Uh, this machine here is most probably going to be something like a Netgear router or something kind of your, your typical um, home device. And this is here just so we can test internet access. Obviously we've got a remote access network here, so when these guys dial in they'll get an IP address in that range. Um, and then we also have, uh, that needs to be changed, um, we also have a server network over here. Uh, and this uh, server network is where the kind of resources are that this guy out here wants to get access to. Okay, let's start it up. So, we want to do a new team. Let's call this RA Lab. And I need that bit. So, we need, uh, we do need one of these. Let's add one of these in first. And let's call this WXP Home 1. And again, up here, WXP Home 1. <clears throat> okay, and then the next one we have is we want to add in a Windows Server 2003 machine, so I should have a template round here. Okay, and let's call this W2003 Server 1 W2003 Server 1. Okay, now we need our routers themselves. And we need three of these. So the first one, uh, let's call this router one. This is going to be the, the router that we're going to be using for uh, internet access, sorry, for uh, terminating the VPNs. We need another one, which we're going to be using as our home users router. And then we need another one, which we're going to be using as our Okay, one, two, three routers, two boxes. Let's just check. So one, two, three, and then one, two, so that's five. Okay, how many networks are we going to need? We're going to need one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I won't name them yet or do that because it's easy to do once you've actually named them. Okay, let's name these guys. So let's call this one Home. This one the ISP. This one the RA LAN. Uh, and this one we'll call Server LAN. Okay, now let's arrange these. So the Home one needs a connection in the Home network. This one needs a connection in the server network. Okay, router one needs a connection to the ISP, and then it needs a connection in the remote access one, and then it needs a connection in the server one. The home needs a connection to the ISP, it needs a connection to home, and we don't really care where the other one is. Internet needs a connection that's bridged, and it needs a connection in ISP. 
Okay, now the next thing to do is arrange these as well. Um, I'm going to be arranging these in the order that makes sense to me. Um, choose whatever order you feel makes it easier for you. So, internet, and then we've got um, router 1, and then we've got the server that's behind it, then we've got home, and then we've got the server that's behind it. In fact, that may make more sense like this. Okay. Don't do power on team from here because it'll actually turn all of them on. Um, so let's start from here. Let's power on the Windows XP machine. Let's power on the home router. Uh, and then let's power on the internet router. And I'll pause the video while um, I wait for those to load up. <laughs> 